Beer, yeah. beer tubers. Welcome to a New Year special of the Master of Hobbits beer reviews. Something uh, special here. Look at my 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 uh, my clothing. I'm not wearing a band shirt. I'm wearing a suit and tie. It's For incredible. The first time in yeah, in all these reviews and yeah. Today joining me is Jakob. The Lord of Malls. We're gonna review a really special beer for New Year's. It's gonna be one I've had in my cellar for quite some time, and it's gonna be the Alesmith Speedway Stout. It's an Imperial Stout brewed with coffee, and it says here brewed and bottled by Alesmith Co Brewing Company in San Diego, California. And it's on 12% in a 750 milliliter bottle, and there's a lot of info here from the back. And it says, Speedway Stout is a thick, rich brew, perfect for those who demand high performance from their beer. Deep and dark, it's full of roasty, toasty, roasty, chocolatey flavors, as any good stout ale should be. We brew it using precisely conditioned water, our championship yeast, the freshest hops and premium grains, grains such as chocolate and black patent malts and roasted body. But the real secret is the beans. Pounds and pounds of coffee beans added to the brew yielding even more levels of complexity and flavor. Such a fine brew demands the finest coffee, so we chose premium micro-roast coffee beans from San Diego's own Ryan Brothers. Or Ryan Bros. For a flavor sensation that can't be beat, Look to the Speedway to find a real winner. This limited edition formula will race off the shelves, so try it today and you will, or you will be left in the dust. And it, it won in 2002, it won Brewer's Choice and People's Choice Award in 2002 in, at the San Diego Real Ale Festival. So uh, let's get it open here, this special ale if we can, <laughs> but should we crack it open and see yeah. what this Imperial Stout is all about? And a big uh, plain cap there. Wow, just the cap smells amazing. <laughs> Let's get it poured here into the Fuller's snifter glass. Oh, that feels pretty thick and dark. And we're having it about room temperature because it's such a big beer. It says to serve it around 55 degrees Fahrenheit, this, which is 12 degrees Celsius, and this is a lot warmer, I think. Or maybe not, because we had it in the fridge for a while. Wow, that just looks amazing. Okay, so the color on the Speedway Stout by Alesmith, it's just pitch black. black. Yeah, there's nothing else to it. No, you don't get any light in not anything. It's just a dark, dark as night. It is just black as hell, man. And the head is just pillowy, creamy looking. Well, I guess we'll have the coffee from here. <laughs> uh, three finger, tan, roasted, creamy looking head. Let's see, yeah, I can't just take out the aroma. Oh, uh, sorry. Wow. Coffee. There is just heaps and heaps of coffee in this aroma. <laughs> wow. There's a huge amount of co coffee in the aroma. Good amount of roasted malt. I actually get some hops. Yeah, a little. What do you get? Uh, chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's actually quite chocolatey. Um, you get the chocolate, the roasted malt, and coffee notes. The coffee is probably the most dominant. It definitely smells really coffee-ish. It's the first that hits one. Yeah. A sweetness to it as well, like a chocolatey sweetness. It smells quite sweet, like a sweet imperial style. It smells big. It's 12% alcohol, by the way, so it is a big beer. But should we give it a taste? Cheers. Happy New Year, Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year! <laughs> That is good. Oh, yeah. wow! The very first expression, uh, first thought is is very balanced. It's it is so balanced. It's not. Yeah, it's it's not a mess. It's not like just an over overpowering of coffee or alcohol. It is super balanced. Um, the body on it is full. It's creamy, a nice creamy texture. Mm. Oh, there's a lot of chocolatey notes as well in here. Um, it's quite sweet. It's a sweet imperial stout. It reminds me of a, you. Have you had the Victory? Um, what's it called? Their imperial stout. I the name escapes me, but they make an imperial stout. Maybe, yeah, I don't think no. so. Oh. Like, I, um, that's a really good imperial stout. That's quite sweet and chocolatey. This is sort of like that, but just bigger. 
if if you know and look at that creamy hair. <laughs> it's the just... head is so creamy. Um, you get the roast, a good amount of roasted malt and chocolatey notes. There are actually a lot of chocolate as well. Yeah. It's very dominant. Yeah. The, the coffee is very subtle. This it's not it's not overpowering. No. And it's not an overpower there is maybe a, a a little bit of that saltiness to it in the end. Yeah. But but it's not much. It's it's super, super balanced this beer. Um you get the chocolate, and there's not much dark fruit. There is a slightly sweet dark fruity note, but the most dominant thing is that dark, rich chocolate along with uh, some uh, some roast and coffee. But we're gonna sip a little bit on this, and we'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, we're back, finishing the bottle of uh, the the Speedway Stout, Stout from Alesmith. And um, as it like we had it pretty warm already, but as it warms up and gets some oxygen standing in the glass, you get a lot more of the the coffee chocolatey flavors of the beer but and um, that's some some people some guys phone ringing um you get a lot more of those chocolatey notes some some more coffee the coffee isn't so dominant in, in, the, in the end in the aftertaste you get a, a slight amount of dark fruit and uh, the dark fruit isn't much and it isn't as vinous as in some imperial stouts because it is so sweet but it's really really good and well balanced yeah, it's, the alcohol is not there at all. It's yeah, not. No. I can't spot it before, after, nothing. There, there's no traces of alcohol. No, really. It, the alcohol is so well hidden. Yeah, it's uh, it's just amazing how they have made it so drinkable when there's all this coffee. Yeah, also, and yeah thinking in it, it's an imperial stout, it is super drinkable. Also, a thing I like is that you get a small amount of hops. I don't know what vintage this is. Because it doesn't say on the bottle, but I'm guessing it's kind of fresh since you still taste the hops. But the store only had six bottle of, bottles of it, and um, I got one of them, so I was quite lucky. Um, but if I was able to get it again, I would for sure try and age a bottle and see how that would turn out, because this is amazing. What, what grade would you give this, uh, this Imperial Style Jacob? It's definitely one of the best Imperial Styles I had. Uh, I ha haven't had that much, and... Uh, it's very, very good. It's, I might go as far and say it's one of the best beers I've tasted so far. Yeah. Um, rating wise, I have to land on 100. Yeah. Uh, for <laughs> me, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not so keen on giving a beer 100, but damn, this is just super balanced. Super. I mean, I think this is almost better than the Yeti, which I was so impressed by. And I think if this is, had aged uh, maybe a year or two, it would be even better. Because um, the Yeti I had was from 2007, and that was that was a 100 beer. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna go 99 just for the sake of the, the age there, because this is just a super balanced, perfect imperial stout. And if you you get to try it, uh, get a chance to try it, you, you really need to pick this beer up. Um, it is just amazing. I'm definitely gonna try and get more of it if uh, get more of it if I get the chance. But um, yeah, end of the year with with a with a um, fantastic beer, guys. And you know what we're going to say as always, we're going to say cheers. And remember cheers. to comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of the Speed Waste Out if you've had it. And as always, yeah, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. And we're going to see you in another beer review next and year. Next year. And guys, <laughs> get ready for a pop. And we're going to say one, two, three. Happy New Year! Happy New Year. See you in a beer review in 2011. Cheers.